Super 30 was never meant to be a commercial venture. People who were in the IPS were looked upon as gods, demigods. When I joined service, one had to earn the faith. I have realized that if the people accept the power that you are using against them, you have the power. If they don't, then no matter where it is written in the law books, the power doesn't exist. Welcome to News Laundry Interviews. Today we have with us Mr. Abhyanand, the former Director General of Police of Bihar and also one of the pioneers of the idea of Super 30, a group of uh, IIT aspirants. You write in your book that by 2008, that is uh, around five or six years after you started Super 30, you were disillusioned with the idea of uh, teaching. Super 30 was never meant to be a commercial venture. Hmm. When I first got a hint of the thing being commercialized, I just decided to quit. But do you think that that's a contradiction once uh, one at one time you are saying that uh, uh, it's very um, critical to democracy the elections and then you are uh, disparaging it uh. if you look at the nuance of what i have said election per se is extremely good it is desirable not only because it is a part of the constitution but the way the election is being conducted since your father joined the IPS in 1951, if I recollect correctly, uh, and you joined it in 1977. So what were the elements of uh, continuity and change that emerged on the landscape of uh, polishing, particularly in a uh, challenging state? People who were in the IPS were, were just looked upon as gods, demigods. When I joined service, it was not as implicit. One had to earn the faith. I have a feeling that whatever implicit faith there was in the IPS as a service is no longer there because now... To regain the trust of the people, how that top-down uh, police leadership, what it has to do to motivate the constabulary to... Uh, push the mandate of policing in the correct way. If I just decide to be available to the people at all points of time, whether it is one o'clock in the night or seven in the morning or any other time where while you are sleeping in the house, if you are available, make some arrangement to be available either through a uh, written communication or through an oral communication, whichever way is possible. That is the first step. You just take it from me. There is no way in which the law and order of the district can go haywire. What are your views about revisiting the Police Act? The revisit was done. The output of the revisit may not be exactly according to what was recommended. So that is another issue, but uh, revisit, as you said, it has been done. In fact, uh, a report from the Indian Express, which appeared on January 5, 2003, and it reported a statement made by the then DGP RR Prashad in the Patna High Court. When the High Court just asked Mr. Prashad about no action being taken against unauthorized constructions in Patna, the state capital, the police chief said that the officers were as powerless as the blind retrust. Is this a, a, a reflection on the state of a demoralized police force? I will not be commenting on what Mr. R. R. Prasad said for two reasons. One, he was my senior and two, that he is no more. Hmm. Uh, he can't defend himself. Your emphasis has been that law is the, the shield as well as the weapon of uh, police officers at high ranks as well as lower ranks. Uh, uh, does this uh, appreciation of uh, how useful can law be uh, um, for the police uh, in uh, gaining the trust of the people, has that also eroded with time? I would tend to believe so, yes. Because somehow the general perception of the people around 
and when i say people i'll include the politicians in power is that free mein itna hi milega to watch the full unedited interview you have to subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free because we don't run an advertising all our money comes from subscribers like you and that is how public service journalism is paid for all the studio lights the cameras all that you see on our website it all comes from subscribers so do subscribe click on the subscription link watch all the interviews unedited and pay for public interest journalism